Hello book friends, it's Allie, and today I am wrapping up everything that I read in the month of April. So I don't have the first couple of books that I finished up for this month. The first one was Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. I gave it a five star rating on Goodreads, and I really enjoyed that book. I thought that it was difficult to stop reading once you started reading because you just really get into the flow of the characters and you just really want to know what happens next. So that was a really good read. The second book that I finished was City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I gave that a four star rating and I thought that one was really well done. I enjoyed it. I enjoy the characters since I haven't been in this world in a long time. It was interesting getting back into all of um, the everything that happens in those stories. I vaguely would like recalled some of the things that happened but for the most part it was like everything was happening new because I'm so far removed from it that I just didn't really remember it. So I really enjoyed reading that. I thought some of it was a little bit cliche but uh, you'll have that sometimes. Um, the next book that I finished in the month of April was Little Beach Street Bakery by Jenny Colgan and I gave this a four out of no, I gave this a three star rating. I thought that this one, the story was really cute to a point. And then once it got about halfway through the book, the characters almost changed personalities, in my opinion. It seemed like one of the main characters who was supposed to be like this certain kind of rugged type just changed into this very emotional type out of the blue. And then... Uh, just it wrapped up in a way that just for me wasn't very satisfying like you expect kind of a happy ending and fluffy and sweet but this one was just kind of like meh I mean meh so it's not bad it's a really cute read and I do recommend reading it because it's a fun little summer story but on the whole it just wasn't it just didn't reach a standard that I really had for it I suppose the next book that I finished in the month of April was Scott Pilgrim 4, Scott Gets It Together. Uh, this is my least favorite of the series. I think I have fully committed to that now. I thought that Ramona kind of treated Scott poorly in this one. And I understand that relationships go through trials and that you have to work through it and all of that. But this one just seemed like she was being unnecessarily mean toward him and I just didn't think that was fair so I do really like this I gave it five stars and I do stand by this series 100% I just thought this one was kind of lacking the next book that I finished was Fairy Debt by Gail Carriger this was an audiobook it was a short story it followed a spunky little fairy who um didn't like have her wings and had to work off of that in the king's palace and it's a really cute story it's a very quick read um it's a lot of fun i really liked it so check that one out the next story was the curious case of the werewolf that wasn't that was also by gail gail carriger and it was also a short story it was longer than the first one though and it was also an audiobook and it to me i gave fairy debt four stars I thought it was really cute but the curious case of the werewolf that wasn't I gave three stars and I thought that honestly the author says that you should read them in a specific order because she has a lot of books and that was the one that she suggested beginning with but it just fell short for me the characters were lacking I mean really you don't get much character building in it there's not really a plot you don't know what's going on through the whole thing and I could see where if you had read other books and you went back and read that then you would really enjoy it because you would already be familiar with the characters and it would just be easier to get into that story once you know what who you're reading about really because I still don't know who those characters were so until I actually read the other books I'm not going to so I think that if you're going to read that short story that you should begin with her other books I also started the Paris hours and I am over 70 pages into that book 
I will be wrapping it up here in the next few days, so it will be in the next wrap-up video for May. I keep forgetting what month it is. I did start reading To All the Boys I Loved Before. I am over halfway finished with that. I really thought I was going to wrap it up today, but just due to circumstances, I wasn't able to get finished with it. I will definitely be finishing it tomorrow, and I will just throw it in with next month's stuff. So, um, I'm also working on Elantris still. I didn't finish that one, but it will be finished next month. I mean, I really hope it will be finished next month. I am trying really hard to get through that book, and it's not that it's bad. I absolutely love it. It's just with life has been difficult to get that one wrapped up, but I will get through that one, and I will probably have that in next month's wrap-up. But this concludes all of the books that I have read in the month of April. I read a total of 1,829 pages. That is including the small amount that I read of Paris Hours, Elantris, and then over half of To All the Boys I've Loved Before. I hope that you've had a great reading month this month, and I will see you guys next time.